हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन मशीन लर्निंग इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर सो इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू सी वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन योर नॉलेज टेस्टिंग अबाउट द मशीन लर्निंग फंडामेंटल दैट हाउ मच यू हैव एक्चुअली ग्राफ्स द मशीन लर्निंग फंडामेंटल कंसेप्ट सो द क्वेश्चन इज देर आर फाइव डिफरेंट प्रॉब्लम्स हैज बीन गिवन एंड वी नीड टू डिसाइड वेदर दिस पर्टिकुलर problem is a machine learning problem or not so how we can find out that whether particular situation or particular task particular problem we can solve with the machine learning algorithm or we can solve it with the traditional way so i have listed couple of condition to test whether particular problem can be solved with machine learning problem or it's a simple way we can straight away write the logic in our traditional programming language and we can solve it it is something like there exists the some kind of pattern in your problem output you cannot solve it with the math equation so there is a pattern exists but it is difficult for you to extract those pattern and put it into mathematical form so there is a pattern but you can't decode those pattern so you want machine learning algorithm to decode those pattern that's why you are using machine learning algorithm and you have a lots of data to extract those kind of pattern so these are the some of the key ingredients to test whether particular problem can be solved with machine learning algorithm or not so let's see i have listed uh, almost five problem and we will test for each and every particular problem whether it's uh, success in all those uh, testing scenario or not so first problem is we want to find whether number is odd or even so it looks like a very uh, simple k12 level uh, problem and we already know about the logic behind uh, whether particular how to determine whether particular number is odd or not and we know about the mathematics behind that that suppose number if we divide by 2 and if remainder is 1 it is classify as a odd or otherwise it classify as a even so there is a pattern but we already can decode it or we can write it into mathematical equation we do not need lot of data we already know about the rule so this is definitely a not a machine learning problem but in this this case machine has not understood anything what is odd and even but suppose we want to make this problem as a machine learning problem till now this is not a machine learning problem but if we want to make this kind of problem also as a machine learning problem we can do one thing that we can fit lot of data like a lot of number and individual number we will tell machine that this is odd this is e even this is odd this is even and machine will automatically come up with the rule like what we have already hard coded in our programming language that whether partic if particular number divide by 2 has a remainder 1 it is a odd then it will be classified as a ml problem or machine learning problem but till now it is not because it's a very simple and a straight forward problem we already know about the mathematics behind it so we can easily code into um, any traditional programming language uh, system so that is not a machine learning problem but we can make it into machine learning problem now let's take a second one let's say you have a lot of photos or what a image and we need to find whether particular photo or image contains a human face or not it's a human face basically is a human face or not i'll just correct it human face or not so there is a pattern there is definitely a pattern across a human face because every human face has a one lip uh, one mouth two eyes two ears uh, and a uh, one cheek kind of thing so there is a pattern but uh, can you decode uh, or can you write uh, those kind of thing with mathematics uh, or any kind of horrendously complicated even mathematics formula so it's very difficult uh, to write any uh, mathematic formula to detect whether particular photo contains a face or not so but we have a lot of data what we have a lot of images as a training data whether particular photo is has a face this photo doesn't have a face this these are the photo has a face and these are the photo do not have a face so we can directly feed it into machine learning algorithm there is a pattern in it and it will come up with those mathematics 
and it will decode machine learning algorithm will decode those mathematics uh, for us because we cannot write those mathematics equation to detect whether a particular photo contains a human face or not so this is definitely a machine learning problem we can feed lot of data and machine will automatically come up with the rule and that rule is nothing but to detect whether particular photo contains human face or not let's take a third one who will win the next president election now uh, this is like a futuristic event but uh, and there must be a some pattern exists pattern in the sense that suppose some political party has done a very good job in last 5 years or 10 years people trust more uh, more on that some of the political party might not have done very uh, well but they are very much popular in particular uh, area but it is difficult to code it into mathematical form and eventually come up with a formula which will eventually tell that this candidate will win or not this candidate will win or not so it is very difficult to write into mathematical formula but we have all the past history of that particular country all president uh, candidate past history so we can feed it those uh, data directly to the machine learning uh, algorithm and it will come up with those rule in a different mathematics form for us and eventually it will predict for us that uh, who will win the next uh, president election so there is a pattern but you cannot write it into mathematics and you want machine learning algorithm to create those mathematics equation for you so that's why this is definitely a machine learning problem let's take a third one so traveling salesman this is one of the very famous uh, uh, problem so what is traveling salesman problem is that you have a suppose one salesman and there are n number of cities are available where this particular salesman has to travel at least once and he, it has again reach back to its home position from initial position or from where it has started its uh, journey but he has to reach every single city let's say there is an end city every single city in a minimal cost with a minimal cost so it doesn't uh, mean that he can travel uh, same city twice uh, uh, because that will increase the traveling cost so traveling cost should be minimum and he has to a uh, salesman has to go through every single city at least once and reach back to its original first city so uh, it looks like that uh, this is like a optimization problem so you can go uh, you can model this problem like a graph based structure and uh, you can use a bread first search and a depth first search kind of uh, uh, functionality but definitely you can code it with a uh, definite uh, mathematical formula and you can keep iterating uh, those mathematical formula to eventually come up with the very optimal solution for that particular uh, salesman because uh, in that case you don't have a data you have a straightforward the problem is available you have a total and city this is the starting city and let's start traveling and every single between every two single city there is a cost associated with it so this is definitely uh, a travel uh, traveling salesman problem is a not a machine learning problem you can code it those kind of problem with the simple uh, traditional way of programming and you can write the mathematics for it in a much much more better way there is a good mathematics already uh, developed for it so this is not a m machine learning problem let's take a last one recognition of speech so uh you might be using in our da daily life from last at least a couple of years and it gets uh, very much used to for us uh, uh, nowadays android speech recognition or uh, apple siri speech recognition so every uh, so task is here actually whenever we speak uh, something in front of our uh, cell phone it should identify that particular character and it should map it to the particular english character or any other language character so there is a pattern there is a pattern for it that if some person speaks uh, let's say hospital 
सो हॉस्पिटल एवरी टाइम इट विल स्पीक दिस हॉस्पिटल इन अ सेम मैनर और देर इज अ सम पर्टिकुलर फ्रिक्वेंसी ऑफ वर्ड्स एसोसिएटेड विथ पर्टिकुलर वावल्स और अ कॉन्सनेंट सो देर इज अ पैटर्न इन इट बट टू डिकोड और टू मैप दोज इंडिविजुअल स्पीच और इंडिविजुअल कैरेक्टर्स और लिटरल स्पीच टू डैट पर्टिकुलर टैक्स बेस्ड कैरेक्टर can we write the mathematical formula so that will be horrendously complicated and it is almost impossible to write for us but we have a lot of training data available for individual speech like a speech data and it will map to that particular uh, text so we can feed it those machine learning uh, training data to the machine learning algorithm and it will come up with the those mathematics and eventually it will predict what is the speech uh, has been spoken by particular person so this is definitely a machine learning problem S because you cannot write anything with the mathematics equation so you want machine learning to come up with those mathematics equation for you so this is the some of the primary test uh, and check your fundamentals behind whether you actually understood the machine learning uh, concept or not so that's it for this lecture friends uh, i hope you enjoy listening this video uh, if you haven't subscribed my channel please 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 subscribe my channel and like this uh, video at last thank you guys for the watching